by Ellen Stoll Walsh. See those little mice on there? Mouse paint. We'll see what color. Well, let's see how many mice. There's one, two, three. Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. And one day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint. One red, one yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint, and they climbed right in. One was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. Oh boy, the puddles looked like fun. Well, the red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. Oh, his feet stirred the yellow puddle until... Look, he cried. Red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until, I wonder what now. Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. Well, then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and he mixed and he danced until... Purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. I wonder what's gonna happen now. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff. And so they washed themselves down in a nice, to a nice soft white. That says C-A-T, cat. I bet that's the cat's water bowl. And they painted the paper instead. They painted one part red and one part yellow and one part blue. And they all had brushes to paint it with. They mixed the red and yellow to paint an orange part. They mixed the blue and the yellow to make the green part. And the blue and the red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat. I think that's the cat's tail. And they didn't want to get too close to the cat, even though the cat was taking them in. And that's the end of mouse paint. All right, we're gonna do the turtle song this morning. Are you ready? I have a little turtle. His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. He tried to eat the bathtub, but it wouldn't go down his throat. Oh, bubble, bubble, pop. Bubble, bubble, pop. Bubble, 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 pop. 
This time, maybe you can help with this. And I bet you can do the bubbles and the pops. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. I have a little turtle. His name is Tiny Tim. I put him in the bathtub to see if he could swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. He tried to eat the bathtub, but it wouldn't go down his throat. Oh, bubble, bubble, pop. Bubble, bubble, pop. Six times. Bubble, 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 pop. That was fun. Good to see you. Bye. Hi. I'm going to read a story today, and this is one of my favorite stories, and to me, it's kind of funny. It's got funny words in it, too. It's called, My Little Sister Ate One Hair, and it's the kind of hair that is a rabbit. And it's written by Bill Grossman and illustrated by Kevin Hanks. My little sister ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. Maybe you can even help me as we're reading this book when it says, but she didn't, you could help me. All right, now I wonder what happens. Uh-oh. Oh no. My little sister ate two snakes she ate two snakes, for heaven's sakes. She ate two snakes. She ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. <laughs> My little sister ate three ants. She ate them with their underpants. She ate two snakes. She ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there but she didn't. Oh, I wouldn't eat three ants. My little sister ate four shrews. She ate their smelly socks and shoes. She ate three ants, two snakes, one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. After four comes five. Oh, my little sister ate five bats. She ate their coats and ties and hats. Four shrews, three ants, two snakes, one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate five mice, six mice. She spit them out and ate them twice. She ate five bats, four shrews, three ants. She even ate their underpants. She ate two snakes. She ate one hair. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. She captured seven pollywogs and ate them as they turned to frogs. She ate six mice, five bats, four shrews. She ate their smelly socks and shoes. She ate three ants, two snakes, one hare. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. Oh my. My little sister ate eight worms. She ate those worms with all their germs. She captured seven pollywogs and ate them as they turned to frogs. She ate six mice. She ate five bats. She ate their coats and ties and hats. Four shrews, three ants, two snakes, one hare. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. Oh my, now what? <laughs> my little sister ate nine lizards. She ate their heads and legs and gizzards. My little sister ate eight worms. She ate those worms with all their germs. 
Seven pollywogs, six mice, she spit them out and ate them twice. Five bats, four shrews, three ants, two snakes. She ate two snakes, for heaven's sakes. And, of course, she ate one hare. We thought she'd throw up then and there, but she didn't. My little sister ate 10 peas, but eating healthy foods like these made my sister sick, I guess. Oh my goodness, what a mess. Oh my gosh, there's the one hair, there's got to be two snakes. There's one snake. There's two snakes. She ate three ants, and she even ate their underpants. There's one ant. Oh, I don't know where all the ants are. Someday we'll have to look at this book together, and we can find all the things that, were, that my little sister threw up. And that's the little one about my little sister ate one hair. My favorite songs is about five little hot dogs. Let's see what we're gonna do with those hot dogs. Ready? Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Here's my pan. Are you? You can help me. Five little hot dogs frying in the pan. The oil got hot, and one went bam. Oh my! Now how many are there? One two, three, four. Okay. Four little hot dogs frying in the pan. The oil got hot and one went bam. Oh my. Th three now. One, two, three. Three little hot dogs frying in the pan. The oil got hot and one went bam. Oh, oh. Only two left. One, two. Okay. Two little hot dogs frying in the pan. The oil got hot and one went bam. Oh. Only one left. One little hot dog frying in the pan. The oil got hot and one went bam. Oh no. No little hot dogs left. Oh, no little hot dogs frying in the pan. <laughs> the oil got hot and the pan went bam. You can help with that one. This tells me that we love you and that's why we're gonna have this story time. I have my two friends, Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle. And I, they live in their houses, and they're going to go in their houses. And you can help, too, with this story about Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle. So one day, Mr. Wiggle woke up, and he said, You know, I think I'm going to go see my friend Mr. Waggle. So he opened the door, pop, and he went outside, pop, and he closed the door, pop, and he went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill till he got to Mr. Waggle's house and he knocked on the door. Knock, 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 knock. But nobody answered. So he knocked again. Knock, 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 knock. Well, I guess Mr. Waggle's not at home, so I'm going to go back to my house, said Mr. Wiggle. And he went up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, till he got to his very own house. And he opened the door, pop, and he went inside, pop, and he closed the door, pop, and he went to sleep. Well, the next day, Mr. Waggle woke up, and he said, I think I'm going to go see my friend Mr. Wiggle. So he opened the door, pop. He went outside, pop. He closed the door, pop. And he went up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill till he got to Mr. Wiggle's house. And he knocked on the door. Knock, 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 knock. 
but nobody answered. So he knocked again. Knock, 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 knock. Well, I guess Mr. Wiggle's not at home, so I think I better go back to my house. And he went up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill and down the hill till he got to his very own house. And he opened the door, pop. And he went inside, pop. And he closed the door, pop. And he went sound asleep. Well, the next day, Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle woke up at about the same time. And Mr. Wiggle said, I think I'll go see my friend Mr. Waggle today. Mr. Waggle said, well, I think I'll go see my friend Mr. Wiggle today. And so they opened their doors, pop. And they went outside, pop. And they closed their doors, pop. And they went up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, and, hey, Mr. Waggle, I was coming to see you. Well, Mr. Wiggle, I was coming to see you. Isn't it a beautiful day? It certainly is. You know what? Maybe we should have a picnic. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Well, I brought some food. What did you bring, Mr. Waggle? Well, let's see. Uh, I brought some peanut butter sandwiches. Oh, good. So they ate their peanut butter sandwiches. Um, what else did you bring, Mr. Waggle? Well, let's see. Um, I hear somebody said that they brought bananas. Oh, I like, I like bananas. Me too, Mr. Waggle. So they ate their bananas. Mm, but you know what I really like, Mr. Waggle? What do you really like, Mr. Wiggle? Well, I really like chocolate chip cookies. Hey, I brought some chocolate chip cookies, too. Oh, good. So they ate their chocolate chip cookies. Uh, now I'm a little thirsty. Me, too. I brought some milk. Oh, good. So they drank their milk. Oh, that was so good. That was such a good, such a good picnic lunch, Mr. Waggle. Guess what? Let's dance now. Oh, yeah, let's do. So they started to dance. <sighs> I'm starting to get a little tired, Mr. Waggle. Well, me too, Mr. Wiggle. This sure was fun. Shall we do it again sometime? You bet. Let's try it again. Well, I'm going to go now, Mr. Wiggle. Me too, Mr. Waggle. Goodbye, Mr. Wiggle. Goodbye, Mr. Waggle. And they went up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill, and up the hill and down the hill till they got to their very own house. And they closed, opened their doors, pop. And they went inside, pop. And they closed their doors, pop. And they went sound asleep. And that's the story of Mr. Wiggle and Mr. Waggle. I have two short songs for you this morning, or this afternoon, and I wanted to share them with you. You can help me with this one. The first one is about I'm a little teapot. You might be able to help me with it. Are you ready? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. There's another song that I know the boys and girls really like, and it's a little bit out of season, but we're going to sing it anyway. It's called Halloween Cat. You ready? Halloween Cat, Halloween Cat, why do you mew and mew like that? Neither I nor the moon likes your tune. Scat! Halloween Cat. This book is called The Little Mouse, The Re Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. And it's by Dawn and Audrey Wood, and illustrated, that's the one who makes the pictures, by Dawn Wood. The Little Mouse and the Big Hungry Bear. Let's find out. The Little Mouse, the Red Ripe Strawberry, and the Big Hungry Bear. Hello, Little Mouse. What are you doing? She's got a ladder. 
Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Oh, how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. Oh, I think he's trying to pick it, don't you? He's shaking, shaking, shaking. Especially one that has just been picked. <gasps> boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest on his big hungry feet and sniff, sniff, sniff. Find that strawberry. No matter where it is hidden. The mouse hid it, buried it in the dirt. Or who is guarding it? Is the mouse guarding that strawberry? He locked it up. Oh. Or how it is disguised. You see, they look different because they have on glasses and a mustache and a nose. Quick! Quick, there's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from a big hungry bear. Do you think he's got it hiding under that blanket? He might. Cut it in two. Cut it in two. Share half with me. Maybe you'll give it to me. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. Now. That's one red ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get. I think it's all gone, don't you? I think it's all gone. The end. Huh. He ate the strawberry and now he's so full he's gonna take a nap. That's the story of the little mouse, the red ripe strawberry, and the big hungry bear. a song about Uncle Jesse and you'll need to help me with this one. Here comes Uncle Jesse. He's riding through the fields with his horse and buggy and he knows just how you feel. He's hollering blue. If you're wearing blue, stand up. Jump up and down blue. Jump up and down blue. Jump up and down blue. Sit down, Blue. Here comes Uncle Jesse. He's riding through the fields with his horse and buggy, and he knows just how you feel. He's hollering pajamas. If you're wearing pajamas, stand up. Stomp around pajamas. Stomp around pajamas. Stomp around pajamas. Sit down pajamas. 
Here comes Uncle Jesse. He's riding through the fields with his horse and buggy, and he knows just how you feel. He's hollering ears. If you have ears, stand up. Clap your hands, ears. Clap your hands, ears. Clap your hands, ears. Sit down, ears. Here comes Uncle Jesse. He's riding through the fields with his horse and buggy, and he knows just how you feel. He's hollering socks. If you're wearing socks, stand up. March around socks. March around socks. March around socks. Sit down, socks. Here comes Uncle Jesse. He's riding through the fields with his horse and buggy, and he knows just how you feel. He's hollering underwear. If you're wearing underwear, stand up. Wiggle around underwear. Wiggle around underwear. Wiggle around underwear. Sit down underwear. That was fun. I hope you're laughing now. This is a song you might need a partner with because we're, this is about a horse named Old Joe. And Old Joe is the horse, but the horse needs a rider or a driver. So you can get someone to help you. You might need a hula hoop to, to put around you so, and so the driver can hold on. Or you can use a scarf, or you can use a tie, or you can use a belt, or you can use a jump rope. And that goes around old Joe, and then the driver holds on to the reins. So here we go. Walk old Joe, walk old Joe, you walk better than any horse I know. Walk old Joe, walk old Joe, whoa Joe. Trot old Joe, trot old Joe, you trot better than any horse I know. Trot old Joe, trot old Joe, whoa Joe. Are you ready now? Gallop old Joe, gallop old Joe, you gallop better than any horse I know. Gallop old Joe, gallop old Joe, whoa Joe. Are you ready for this one? Run old Joe, run old Joe, you run better than any horse I know. Run old Joe, run old Joe, Whoa, Joe. Now you can trade places with your partner. Are you ready? Do it again.